Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for the ninth annual Collegiate Invitational Art Exhibition. Uh, this year, we have nine colleges and universities exhibiting. And like always, the work was outstanding, is outstanding. If you get a chance, make sure you come to the headquarters library and see it. Uh, if you are unable to, we do have a walkthrough of the exhibition on our website, as well as a page dedicated to all the colleges and universities where we have information about them as well as some images from their particular schools. So again, work was great this year, you guys. Thank you so much for your hard work. I know that the patrons that are able to come into the library have really appreciated uh, this going on and happening. So I know this year has been weird, but we really appreciate you doing this. Again, if you can come and see the, the show in person, if you want to go upstairs to the Crutchfield Gallery, there is an exhibition going on right now by Pat Owens. It's called Alabama, y'all. It's up until May 5th. Uh, for the last decade, he's been collecting images and objects from Alabama la landscape. Uh, generations of his family have lived in Alabama, and he drives around the state visiting locations that are a testament to, this, to his cherished history. Uh, his assemblages are produced from an array of his collections, and they all reference Alabama in some way. At times, the work speaks to a socio-political idea within our country, as suggested by the inclusion of the American flag and other icons of U.S. culture in various states of decay. The goal of his work is to prompt viewers to think about memories of family and place, while also considering the lack of memory influence, influences today's cultural climate within the United States. If you do want more information about Pat or his artwork, on our website, we also have a page dedicated to this exhibition under the Art in the Library, and it has a uh, artist video for Pat Owens, as well as a link to his website. This year's juror was Katie Castle. Uh, Katie earned an MFA in metals, jewelry, enameling from Kent State University and a BFA in enameling from the Cleveland Institute of Art in Ohio. She has worked as an archaeological illustrator in India and as a museum educator at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York and at the Western Reserve Historical Society in Cleveland, Ohio, all of which continues to influence her art. Currently, she teaches metals and enameling in the Fine Arts Center in Greenville. So later, I will post uh, Katie's entire uh, juror statement for you guys, but I did want to read a little portion of it before I uh, start giving out awards. She said, it was such an honor to jury the awards for this exhibition. So I will start by sending out a big thank you to all the participants and the Spartanburg Library. I was delighted to see the range of media, subject matter, and scale in the exhibition. It was fascinating to view the work of the students interspersed with the work of faculty and to search for possible connections in terms of technique, composition, and content. I saw so much possibility, potential, and glimpses of genius, it was very difficult to make decisions about the award. My initial list had to be winnowed down, so I asked the exhibitors to take heart and know that no matter how much the juror strives to be fair, unbiased, judge of quality, ultimately, ultimately the task of jurying is subjective. So with that in mind, we'll now start to give out our awards this year. So first up are the honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Tyler Kirby, Lipstick from USC Upstate. The second honorable mention is Savannah Bates, Saucy and Pasta Product Design from Lander University. Third honorable mention is Fiona, Fiona Aldegiri, Cheyenne Bello, Greenville Technical College. Our final honorable mention is Dacia Warren, Nature's Beauty from Lander University. Next up are our merit awards. Our first merit award goes to Olivia Hubel, or Leah, from Clemson University. Our second merit award goes to Saren Carpenter, Pathway, from Bob Jones University. Our final merit award is 
going to Abigail Moore for Conceivable Regret from North Greenville University. The next award is a staff award. This one was not given by the juror, but rather one of our staff members. So this year's staff award goes to Avery McElaney for Chata from Converse College. Our next award is the Librarian's Award. This one was chosen by Todd Stevens, um, the director over all of the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. And he chose Margaret Lee's The Mayor of Paris as a Spurting Down from Walker College. Our next award was chosen by the juror, but it is sponsored by our Friends of the Library group. And this award goes to Avery McElaney or Chata, Converse College. Every year I like to give uh, one faculty award to make sure that the faculty and staff of these colleges and universities know that we do appreciate them bringing their work to hang alongside all the student work. Uh, this year, this award goes to Masha Belasova. Uh, it's a video uh, media called Her Type from Wofford College. Our third place award goes to Fiona Newell, passerby from Lander University. Our second place award goes to Satra Muhammad's Heartbeat Course, series number one of three, Clemson University. And our first place award and our final award goes to Laura Main Remnant from Converse College. Thank you guys so much for listening. Again, amazing work. I know there's not enough awards. I wish there were more, but you guys had a really strong show this year. So make sure you check it on the website. And I look forward to seeing all of your artwork next year.